What's up everyone, Sean here with the Sean Connors Realty Group and I wanted to give you a quick little update of the new things that are coming to Downingtown. Um, some of them may be a few years out and some things that have already popped up as far as new construction, there's a new development that I'm gonna show you and there's also a really nice new uh, restaurant that came in around Downingtown, it's not in Downingtown, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So I'm actually standing here at 322 in Boot Road where um, most people know that there's a huge development that's going on around here. Um, it's been in the works for years and within the past couple of years someone else bought it and they have started the demolition process. Um, as you can see they, they took all the buildings down that were, that were behind me across the street. They leveled everything out too and it kind of seems that something has been at a standstill which makes sense because it's a really really big project so just to give you an idea of what it looks like now I'm going to show you and then I'm going to take you to the next spot So I actually stopped at the Chestnut Street Bridge in Downingtown in the borough. So if you didn't know, I'm sure you got the memo, but the bridge is shut down for like the next 19 months, I think. So somewhere around 2021 is supposed to open again. And this is the bridge, uh, Chestnut and Boot Road. Um, again, it's supposed to be shut down. They're doing a lot of work on it. It's been very structurally not that good for the past few years or probably past dozen years or so. So what they're doing is, and actually people are coming down, they, they can't even see that uh, the bridge is closed, but they're doing some major improvements. They're gonna widen it so it's not like a very, very tight two-person bridge. Um, so look for that to be closed. If you didn't know and your commute is affected, um, a lot of people are saying that their commute home is like doubling. So just so you know, the bridge is now closed and it's not gonna be reopened again until about 2021. Hey guys, now I'm standing in front of the Old Country Buffet, or what used to be Old Country Buffet, in the Wegmans Shopping Center. Um, there's a lot of chatter about what's going in here. It seems really exciting. The main thing that I'm hearing is that they are reconfiguring the layout so that five different tenants or five different restaurants can go in there at the same time. Um, I heard Duck Donuts, Five Guys, um, and they're the two big ones that I keep hearing over and over. So. That's gonna be interesting. And also, I'm gonna flip, I uh, can't flip around, but I'll, I'll, I'll go shoot in front of it. Where the H.H. Gregg was, Best Buy is moving over there now. So Best Buy is across the street, um, and they're actually gonna to move to where H.H. Gregg was. And where the subway was next to Wegmans, um, I know they've been planning on it, but they were supposed to put in the pub too. So look for that to come in the next year or so. Right now I'm out front of the new Ryan home development, Downingtown Walk. Uh, it's on Business 30, right near Ashbridge uh, Shopping Center where the Best Buy used to be, but now it has changed. And going back to my previous video, the Best Buy is actually open now, the one that's in the uh, Wegmans Shopping Center. So this is Downingtown, Walks, uh, Downingtown Walk by Ryan Homes. It's a townhome development. I think they said they're going to put about 40 townhomes in. Um, the Model home is almost built, so I'll do a little shot of, of the street and maybe give you a, a better idea for where the homes are going to be. Um, the prices are going to start in the 300s. It always says start in the 300s. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that it's probably somewhere in like the mid 300s. So look for that. If you have any questions about that um, or want any more detail about it, reach out to me on that. <music> Yeah, 
so now I'm standing across the street from Lloyd Farm, uh, right across from the new Royal Farms. Um, and it was purchased, I'm not sure exactly when it was purchased, but it was purchased by a builder. And now this is going to be the center for a lot of controversy um, in the years to come because what I have read and what I've heard is that the developer bought it for one reason and now he's trying to get it rezoned for something else. So the plan was to put a 55 plus community, I think it was about 200 units, and now he is trying to have it rezoned so that he can put an additional 200 apartments right next to the 55 plus community. So what I do know is there is a township meeting for it on the 12th of this month. So February 12th, there's a, an opportunity to meet the builder, um, get your questions answered, voice your concerns, and just let him know exactly how you're feeling. That's going to be at the Cowan Municipal Township Building. And again, that's at, uh, it's on February 12th, so next week, actually. I will link to that in the, in the body of this um, video, too, so you have something to resource. Alright guys, last stop for the day. I told you I would do a restaurant and we are, or I am, out front of Bright Spot Cafe. Heard a ton of great reviews already. I'm actually going to go inside, get some lunch, and then I will definitely let you know what it's like. So I just got done. It was awesome. Uh, great service, good food, and I will definitely be back. I uh, hope you found the information helpful. I know it was a lot to take in, so I'm going to make sure that I link to everything that I was talking about so you have a better idea of what was discussed. Look forward to speaking with you guys soon and have an awesome day. Take care.